Welcome everyone to a new video. So you guys are probably wondering why the videos have been so scarce lately. That is because my internet ran out. So I've been like the last week I've been without internet. And also there's not much happening with Christian hip hop. There is a lot of new releases with smaller artists, but I'm not gonna make, I guess, standalone Christian hip hop news videos about people that people don't really know because there'll be less interest in it and it would give the smaller artists more spotlight if a bigger artist came out with music and then I included them in that video so anyway I have been making more topic kind of videos more I guess intimate kind of videos opening myself up a bit more with the depression video with the social club misfits video and this one will kind of be like that uh, only part of it because obviously the title is reaching the mainstream or becoming mainstream which is talking about Lecrae and and this has been a very big theme in uh, my channel, starting from problems with Christian hip hop, uh, Dear Lecrae, Christian hip hop's identity crisis, quite a lot of videos that are kind of down the same line, but uh, I'll, I'll mix in, uh, I guess what I've been doing with my later videos with kind of that old, old style of video as well. So just a, I guess a preface or some context to this, uh, Lecrae was the first artist that I listened to to in Christian hip hop, heard him on a Christian radio in New Zealand, then looked him up, then found Reach Records, and then found everyone else, and then through Rapzilla and other websites and YouTube, I found all these other smaller artists, so I pretty much have Lecrae to thank for me being at this point, having a YouTube channel about Christian hip hop, having a following, it's pretty much all started with Lecrae, and Anomaly was obviously the first album that I listened to. I still love that album to this day. I think it was number two on my top 10 Christian hip hop albums video. So go and check that out if you're new to Christian hip hop. So now that you know that, obviously some of you guys know I'm not for the collabs, but I did say in a, another video or a recent video that I do see the positive side and I, I haven't said that before in a video. I've been very hardline with the collab thing and I, I definitely do see the good side of him collabing uh, for the other side or the mainstream people listening to hip hop and then possibly coming through to Christianity that way. Uh, I guess my concern is more with the people who are already Christian and I guess the introduction of these new artists to them that Lecrae is I guess endorsing with all the music that he's making but is he reaching the mainstream or becoming mainstream? Now with Lecrae's own words we know he wants to transcend all boxes he wants to be on top of all the boxes he doesn't want to be a Christian rapper he wants to be a rapper and I get it you know it's it's a humble battle that he's fighting right now for a genre transcendence uh, personally I I don't think it's really worth the fight you're gonna be labeled if you're a Christian you're gonna be called a Christian uh, I guess if someone was a, a Muslim they talked about if they talked openly about Islam and their music they'll be called a Muslim rapper uh, so I mean I don't see really any issues with it but I know there's some other people that uh, find issue with it I think from his own words though he is becoming mainstream uh, it is kind of worrying I guess because I mean, you see him with all these mainstream rappers hanging out with them, whether it's through Instagram or whatever, taking pictures with them. But just from the outside looking in, it looks like he's like a part of them in a way. I mean, I know some of you feel like that. I know I've seen it in the comments how uh, I guess the mainstream, he's becoming more mainstream than him reaching the mainstream and I guess if you're looking from a Christian perspective that might be a bit concerning uh, that's what I talked about in my Dear Lecrae video but it's got some more scriptures I did actually clear up a scripture that I used out of context in my comments so if you watch that video and you're like oh he's using bible verses that aren't even related to it I did clear that up I believe it was 
verse Corinthians or something. But anyway, so I would really like to get your guys' thoughts on this, uh, whether Lecrae is reaching the mainstream or becoming mainstream. Uh, I really hope his next album kind of is a statement, kind of like anomaly. Uh, I was just listening through it before making this video, so I get into that Lecrae mindset. And I really think he needs to have something that's more hard hitting, not softening up. Uh, from his previews, I get the, I get the sense that he's kind of softening up uh yeah man i don't know we'll have to wait and see uh if you guys want to see those previews uh that he's done to his new music go and watch lecrae new album the video i think it's like two months old now so it's probably a bit worse quality my commentary probably isn't as good but uh yeah there's those preview clips for you guys uh one's called broke another one's called i ain't never gonna change but uh you know we'll see uh i I encourage you guys to listen through Anomaly as well like I it's amazing how some of his older songs still speak to me in a new way now that I'm I guess in a different stage of life uh, I guess happier than I used to be so different songs speak to me differently and it's really interesting so I actually oh, I might leave a link to Anomaly in the description if you guys want to listen to that I'm sure most Christian hip-hop fans have listened to the craze anomaly probably the biggest christian hip-hop album ever so yeah go and listen through that i really want to know your thoughts on whether the mainstream is affecting him more than he's affecting the mainstream but i don't think we'll really be able to tell until he comes out with this album which is taking way too long so uh yeah thank you guys for watching uh hopefully when this video goes up i have internet so videos will start coming up more regularly uh, this is what I said, like, I like the last video, I think. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. 1,000 subscribers soon. I can't wait. Uh, and leave a special message if you got this far. And I'll see you guys in my next video.